Yeah, my ideal investor is a senior tech professional or tech executives or executives in general. And they're likely first and second generation immigrants like me, although it doesn't have to be. And I've worked with customers for not. And the questions I would ask would be, you know, what are you wanting to achieve uh, with freedom? Why is that important to you? Uh, what are you doing financially for, for those freedom? Or is that actual true freedom because it's passive income? How are you balancing your risks while getting those freedom along those lines? Just to understand where they're at and where they want to go and if it's a good fit. Because as you know, for someone who's making less than six figures, typically, they're likely not our ideal clients. They're just because okay. of the amount that's required require for investing. So just to be clear, this is somebody who resonates with you. They might be a first or second uh, generation immigrant. Uh, they resonate with you. They make good money, at least 100, at least six figures. And it sounds like they have never invested in alternative assets. It sounds like that. Is that true? Yeah, it, it could be. Um, I realized that a lot of my customers, um, there's more of them that there's more than 50% of them, they, they're investing their first time with me. There's that component of it. Obviously, mm -hmm. it's harder to convert when the awareness level is lower. Mm -hmm. um, but uh, I do get to develop a deeper connection with them and help them along the process. There is uh, another type of customers I could interview is people who are already experienced in passive investing, but they just haven't maybe been exposed to me and my story and how we do things. Yep. Um, that could be as well. Yeah. So what I started doing on my real estate podcast, I sold it like over three and a half years ago, um, almost four. <laughs> Jeez. That's crazy to think almost four years ago. Um what I would do is I would actually interview people that were already passive investing. And I think in your case, Misi, this is probably going to be better for you because they're already interested. They already do it. They already have the money. They already have some idea. And then you convert them from investing with multiple people or just the one person to also adding you or switching to you. And you do that by BRTing, matching and mirroring, being relatable and and definitely showing them what you do that's different. So I feel strongly that in your specific case, it's probably going to be better for you to interview somebody who's already passively investing. And here's a couple of reasons why. Your listener is going to probably get, get more value. So you ask, why do you passively invest? What made you start to passively invest? What are the successes? What held you back? And this all helps you to be able to just know your avatar better. Like you're, you just know who that next passive investor is a little bit better because you're asking somebody like them these questions, like what held you back? Why did it take you so long? Like, for example, I now know that it took you a year to get your podcast started. That I could probably use that information later uh, with with talking about, man, do you need any help or something? And I know it took you this year long to kind of get get there. Um, how are you doing with it? Is there anything we can do? But I'll I can feed back the information that I already know. Uh, you say, same thing. You you say what what markets do you invest in? How come? How do you pick a market? And you're asking the past investor. It's all adding value to a, a future past investor. All of it. But also you're getting to know that human. And you're also getting to know what, how the other avatar will probably be thinking about stuff. But you're, you're learning that this person only invests in Texas, for example. Then later on, you can throw the information back to them and say, say, that's great that you invest in DFW. It's one of my favorite markets. I think it's one of the strongest markets in the country. We're investing in three markets right now. And DFW is one of the big ones that we want to be a part of. It's hard to find great deals there. But if we do find a great deal in DFW, do you want me to let you know about it? And mm -hmm. boom, now, now you've, you've switched it to, uh, you've switched it from just knowing this information just because you asked them to uh, now asking for the sale, asking them to uh, consider investing with you if you've got a deal.